Hi, I'm Michael Lee. I'm here with Mass Vesta Dog at the Mass School of Law for the Animal Rights Day. Mass Vesta Dog is a nonprofit, all volunteer organization. We provide bulletproof vests, training equipment, safety equipment, um, anything basically a canine would need for its work in police work in Massachusetts. Um, we're celebrating our 15th year and we have vested over 400 dogs so far. The base vest is for patrol units. We go all the way up to SWAT team vests and that allows for the dog to have a camera on its back and also to repel. We also sell t-shirts, we sell caps, we sell watch caps, um, bracelets, and all of the profits go to buying the vests and the other training equipment. My name is Kathy Hines and I'm president of Massachusetts Vesta Dog and I'm here in Andover, Massachusetts for the police dog trial sponsored by the United States Police Canine Association. We are here because we support Massachusetts canines with lots of different things. So for example, we help provide not only the ballistic vests which cost between a thousand to twenty four hundred dollars, but we also help provide essential equipment like the bite suits that we're going to see today which run $1,500 to $2,000 each, as well as things like kennel cruisers, the hot and pop systems to keep the dogs safe in the cruiser, the price of the dogs themselves, which we've paid up to $6,500 for a dog, as well as canine training conferences too. So it's with your support that we're able to do this, and of course with our tremendous volunteers, because we are all volunteer organization. Uh, my name's Kelly. My husband is a state trooper, and Mass Vesta Dog vested my husband's canine, and I just it was my way of paying back. Molly, um, Molly's birthday in 2012, I think, was what raised the funds for Yari's vest, and I've been volunteering ever since. We have the bulletproof vest will help protect them against gunshot wounds, knife stabs. Also, if somebody decides to kick or hit them with something, it, it helps dissipate the blunt force trauma. The officers are appreciative knowing that their partner can respond to a call with them, knowing they have a vest that will help keep them safe. I've been involved with Mass Vesta Dog for a number of years, I think a little more than five. And my job is to talk a lot about Mass Vesta Dog and let you know that we appreciate the job that these dogs do. They have bomb dogs and tracking dogs and drug detection dogs, apprehension dogs. It's, it's awesome to watch them and it's also awesome to know that they are out there for us. So. I love being here. I love talking about them. I love talking about the dogs. And I get a lot of helpful information from the handlers, actually, with my dog. I can walk by and pick him back up. Boop. He'll just stay right next to me. Boop. <laughs> Nice. Round of applause. Good job. Good boy. So at the very beginning, Officer Higgins told the bad guy to come towards him, come towards him, come towards him, and he let him know, if you go away, my dog is going to come after you. Well, the bad guy made a very bad choice. A dog like Canine Cane could cost anywhere from five to $10,000 and a lot of departments can't afford that, so we help pitch in. What makes it possible for us to do this work is all of our wonderful donors out there. Without the donors being generous with their nickels, dimes, pennies, twenties, anything they can give, we wouldn't be able to put the vests on these wonderful working dogs that help protect the community throughout the state of Massachusetts.